Let's talk today about makeup trends for 2024 so we can be on point for what's coming in the future. If you're new to my channel, my name's Marlena. I've been a brand owner and cosmetic product developer for over 15 years. And I wanna tell you today, what are my top 10 predictions for makeup trends of 2024? Coming in at number 10 is thin brows. Now, I said this last year and I still am gonna say it again this year. I'm already seeing it on the runway. I'm seeing people in real life starting to go for a slightly thinner brow. We are not talking about razor thin from the 90s like Pamela Anderson or the characters from Friends. I'm thinking it's gonna be a more modern take on the 90s brows where it's a little bit thinner, but it's not razor thin. What I sense is that we're gonna get away from the fluffy brow trend that we've seen for the last several years. That's gonna be lay a little bit more flat it's going to be a natural shape. We're going to get away from any carving or anything like that that we saw many years ago. And it's going to be just very natural with brow gel brushed in, but definitely not as thick of a shape that we've seen for the last five or 10 years or so. At number nine, we have velvet skin. So for the last several years, we've seen the clean girl aesthetic, the very dewy, light, fresh skin. I think people are starting to get a little bit tired of that trend. It's starting to fade out just a little bit, but we're not ready to go back to full glam of 2016 with the layers of foundation, the baking, the cooking, the in the kitchen type of powder. We're not there yet. What I believe, what I'm already starting to see is what is called velvet skin or cloud skin. Basically what it is, is it's not fully matte finish, but it's more matte than what we've seen with that dewy trend. So it's like a satin finish, slightly patted down a bit with some powder or powder foundation, but it's not thick, it's not cakey, and it's not too dry or flat. It still has a very slight sheen to it, so it looks like skin. Still has some good coverage in there, but it's definitely not that dewy, glossy look that we've seen for the last several years. And at number eight, we have cool tone eyeshadows. Now, cool tone eyeshadows have been in for the last year or two, and I think they're gonna stay strong for this year because we've had warm tones for so long and people are tired of it. They want something different. So I think we're gonna still see lots of grays, earthy browns, taupes, anything in that cool tone category, I think we're still going to see. I also predict we're gonna see lots of variations of blues. So periwinkle blue, royal blue, navy blue, lots of those cool tone blues, along with all those muted kind of earthy browns. And then of course the grays and the silvers. At number seven, we have lip jellies. Now, you guys are probably like, lip jellies, what is this? I really think for this year that we are gonna see some very unique lip textures because we've had lip balms, lipsticks, lip glosses, and things like that. I think people wanna see unique textures kind of based on some of the trends that I'm seeing coming out of Korea, which is at the very top right now in innovation in makeup and skincare. I've been seeing lip jellies, lip mousse, textures and things that are very different to what we've had for a long time. Like I keep saying 2024 is all about textures more than color because we want to see something different that is very tactile. That's where we're at. So that's why I think the lip jellies are going to be coming in pretty strong, especially later of 2024, just to see a different type of format that we can wear on the lips that isn't something we've had for a long time. So we know that the clean girl aesthetic has been around for several years now, and I feel like it's gonna start to fade just a little bit, especially when it comes to eyes. I think people are ready to wear color on their eyes again, but it's not gonna be full glam like what we saw at the peak in 2016. I predict that it's going to be placement of color in one area. So you'll have a bright blue on the outer corner, or maybe it's a pastel blue eyeliner in the inner corner of the eye. I feel like we're gonna see pops of color, but just very strategic place. So it's kind of like a mix of the clean girl trend right now mixed with the Instaglam for 2016 like they had a baby and we have something that's kind of in between. So it's not super clean and light but it's not full glam it's kind of in between with just little pops of color. At number five, we have subtle glitters. Now, glitters kind of have their moment, they come and go, but they've been around forever, to be honest, and people are starting to really love them now, but in a more subtle way. By that, I mean, you'll have a pop of, say, a glitter pigment that's just on the lid, tapped up to the brow, or maybe a cream shadow like this that has an iridescent feeling to it, and that's just dusted all over the lid. We're seeing glitters in more subtle ways. It's all about texture. I think 2024 is huge right now in unique textures, and finishes so it's not just a matte eyeshadow or just a shiny one it's like glitters but slightly iridescent so it feels like there's texture there but it's wearable for every day it's kind of continuing the trend from that euphoria makeup but maybe even toned down a little bit more that's why palettes like this the Nanessa Myricks one has been really popular because you have different textures in here with some of these like flake type formulas can you see some of that where you can just pop it on the lid it's fast and easy but it's unique looking and it's not a traditional format of an eyeshadow 
At number four, cream foundations. I don't know if any of you all are old enough to remember those old school cream foundations with the little compact, you had a sponge, you had to pat it on. It was kind of a thicker version of like the cushion foundations that we have now. I feel like those are gonna be making a comeback because the clean girl aesthetic is starting to kind of wind down a little bit. People are wanting a little bit more coverage, but liquids can be a little bit messy. People still want convenience, something that's fast, it's easy. And I feel like a cream or a foundation balm in a compact that people can throw in their purse, pat it on with a sponge so it's super fast, it's easy, it's portable. I feel like that's what people kind of want right now so that it's less maintenance than a liquid foundation but it gives you the coverage of a cream and it's not as thick or cakey as some of the ones we've seen now with the stick foundations and all that. I feel like it's going to be light to medium coverage, nice rich creamy formula, still good coverage but giving you that natural look while also still making the face look flawless. At number three, we have blush cushions and blush bombs. Now this is another take on those textures that I think we're gonna see for this year. Blush is still gonna be strong for 2024. It's not going anywhere. I just think the format of the texture is gonna change a little bit. Instead of it being liquid blushes that we've seen for the last few years or even cream blushes, I think we're gonna start to see innovative textures here as well with blush mousse, blush bombs, maybe in a stick or a compact format. Something that still gives you a very natural effect to the cheek that makes that blush pop and is interesting, but it's not that super glossy, liquidy look that we've had for several years on the cheeks. At number two, we have colorful lashes. I have seen this requested so much in various places all over the internet of people want colorful mascaras again. And I've seen it on the runway. We saw it, Prada had their fall runway this past year and we saw their looks having colorful mascaras, colorful lashes. And there was another fashion show that had it too. So we're already starting to see it in fashion. I think it's gonna cross over to mainstream makeup by mid to end of this year where we see colorful mascaras and bright blues, plums, bright purples, maybe even colorful lashes coming back in. That's kind of my prediction that I'm seeing as people want that back because it's a fun way to go back to that strategic color placement of color without it being over the top and too much glam and taking too much time. It's literally you can just pop on your lashes a bright color and have it be fun and innovative without it taking a lot of work to do. And at number one, I believe the trend is going to be grunge makeup. I think we are gonna see grunge makeup all across the board this year. We've already seen it with Huda Beauty. She came out with her grunge eyeshadow palette, which was a massive hit. I still have to get it, you guys. I'm so bummed. I went to go to Sephora to get it. They were sold out. It was out of stock, which tells me people are really wanting something different. Because again, we're getting away from the clean girl aesthetic a little bit. People are a little bit bored. They want to spice up their makeup some. And having that grunge makeup plays up on the cool tone eyeshadows that are still popular, but also kind of taking a vibe back to the late 80s and early 90s with that grunge makeup. You have smudged eyeliner under the lower lash line, maybe it's smoked down pretty far, or you're having nice gray shadows kind of smudged all over the lid. Just that kind of grungy vibe that's a little bit more polished than what we had in the early 90s. So it's almost like, again, this clean girl aesthetic meets grunge had a baby, and it's kind of like a modern take on grunge that's still wearable but has that kind of edgy vibe. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think are going to be the makeup trends for this year. Let's see what kind of ideas will spur on and what actually happens the end of this year. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more amazing makeup content and come back next week for another makeup video. You guys have a great one and I'll see you soon. Bye.